To give you at least one example of what it's like driving around, yesterday afternoon I came in and it was still snowing heavily. It was very windy. There was very little traffic. Uh, but my 16 minute drive to work actually took 30 minutes. And then this morning to make that same exact drive, instead of 16 minutes, it took 19 minutes. And I went about 45 to 50 max on most of the highways and the interstate. Uh, a lot of other roads, about 30 to 35. But it was basically one extra Christmas song to listen to to get from point A to point B. And that's what you should do today, too. Give yourself plenty of time, plenty of distance, and watch for that stopping distance, too. If you're going a little too fast in an intersection, you may just slide right into it. Uh, there's some cars kind of zipping along on the interstate. And personally, I would grade the highway and interstates at about a B minus to C in some locations and then a C minus in other spots. But uh, the plows have been out doing a fabulous job. And there's the parking lot at the Expo Center. And it looks uh, very quiet, but you can see that there's been some plowing done there and that's been the case in the overnight a lot of crews shoveling and plowing to get your day ready but a lot of schools are closed and of course you can check that out here on air and online 20 the dew points at 12 so the air very dry and it feels like seven when you toss in a wind that is still blowing at 15 but thankfully that 30 40 50 mile per hour wind is long gone and right now we're looking at the actual air temps with mid and upper 20s out toward Concordia and Clay Center the heaviest of snow was near Washington to Marysville over towards Center and Sabetha getting 12 to 15 inches of snow in some of those locations. Topeka is at 20, Kansas City is at 17. Here's what it feels like Kansas City at 5 above, Topeka at 7, and then with warmer air temps and less wind out west, doesn't feel quite as bad, but it's still a wintertime scenario, no doubt about that. Now, the center of circulation that was just off the west of St. Louis late yesterday is way up here in the areas of Indiana and approaching Ohio. All that lifting in to Ontario as we go through the day today. The back edge of the clouds going right through Des Moines down toward Columbia. And then we have this batch of cloud cover with a few little snow showers in central Nebraska. So some of that cloud cover trying to ease in to give us a partly cloudy start to the day. And that's what we're depicting here with some scattered clouds kind of working through from time to time. But as we go through the overnight, mainly clear, a couple of clouds out to the far west. And then as we get into Tuesday night, still mostly clear here. But as we get into Wednesday, we're going to start getting increasing moisture. And once we cloud up Wednesday, that could be it. We may be overcast for about a four day period after that. So we need all the sunshine today and tomorrow that we can possibly squeeze in. For today, a 34 high, but that would happen very briefly uh, right around 3 o'clock or so. We're going to spend the vast majority of the day in the mid and upper 20s. Overnight low close to 15 with a clear sky, very light wind, if any. And then sunshine for tomorrow, a high of 36. Could be a cloud or two in a few locations. And then we try to take it up just a little bit, but nothing like the 60s that we had on Saturday. So 34, 36, and 42. Once we go cloudy, we likely stay mostly cloudy to overcast on Thursday and Friday. There could be some widely scattered rain showers at that time. Overnight lows flirting with that freeze thaw point, so we'll monitor that. And then on Saturday, there could be some areas of rain, high 45, but as we turn cooler throughout the day, we may start getting some mix, and that could lead to ice pellets or even some freezing rain. And then a cloudy sky on Sunday at 41 before yet another system comes in toward early next week. So we need this sunshine, but it will not not warm up much. So bundle up, drive carefully, and if you have the day off, enjoy. I'm meteorologist David George, and this is KSNT News.